Hey guys, so recently we've seen the prices of gold soar in pound terms and also in dollar terms. We've had a real strong couple of weeks uh, as I record the video and throw my latest pickups on the table. So we have three new sovereigns to show you today. We'll take a look at those in a moment. Just briefly though, I've got a half sovereign here which is a 1925 SA. Now you might have seen my video recently where I got a 1926 SA and that is the other South Africa half sovereign date that you can get. Uh, but you will, if you saw the video, know that I thought it was a suspicious coin. And uh, anyway, I'll do a full video on that. Um, I do believe this is a genuine coin. I'm happy with that one. So on to today's pickups. So first of all, we have a 1958, which is a Gillick Sovereign. And that's because of the designer of the portrait, which is Mary Gillick. So these are a really nice uh, era if you are into, you know, nice sovereigns which have a little bit of that goldy colour, but still haven't been circulated. Obviously, from 2000 onwards, the colour has, in my opinion, been made worse, gone that coppery colour. Maybe you call it rose gold, but to me that looks like copper. So 1964... Again, nice luster on these. Uh, obviously, they weren't circulated, and most of them, you know, do come up in good condition. There are some that have had a hard life, and they do come up, but it is very, you know, it's very easy and quite common to find them in these nice conditions like this. So, interestingly, when I purchased the coins, and when I re received the coins, uh, actually, they were about uh, just under 1% premium delivered. So, really happy with that. Uh, basically, that's just due to the gold price going up. So, it wasn't especially timed. It was a very good deal at the time. And, uh, you know, not necessarily planning for that gold price to go up. It was just a, you know, a regular purchase. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But, ultimately, when I say win or lose, you know, I'm not looking to sort of sell them or flip them quickly. So, it doesn't really matter, you know, what the short-term price action is. It is just a nice little win in you know in your head when you uh, when you buy and the gold price goes up and you feel all smug because you've got some uh, cheap gold. But you can also buy it and then gold tanks and you think, oh, what have I done? You know, you got the top of the market or something like that. But for my approach for buying gold, it's averaging in over the long term. So, like I say, short term price movements for my physical gold stack don't really matter that much. Now. There are a couple of dates where the price does matter. That's the date when you buy and the date when you sell. Uh, speaking of dates, I have a few more dates of the Shield Sovereigns. So just picking one at random here, this is 1845. Um, ticked off a few of those, so you'll see those in uh, some upcoming videos. And like I say, I'm going to go into detail on the 1925 half because it was a very interesting uh, case study. I was really intrigued. And uh, I know a few other people are as well. So, yeah, this one, I'm happy it's genuine. There were a lot of issues with the 1926. And, you know, I returned that, got my money back. It wasn't from one of the big online dealers. It was a smaller, um, what would you say, local dealer. Like a smaller, you know, he's an online dealer as far as I'm aware. But just a smaller outfit that's, you know, doing it, I guess. It's a limited company, but maybe just as a hobby or, you know, a side hustle type thing. But... It's still, you know, a reputable seller, got, uh, you know, quite a few years of trading, but, you know, maybe it slipped through, maybe it wasn't checked properly, I'm not quite sure, but e either way, I'm happy that uh, I flagged it up, and, uh, you know, it just shows that when you come to check your gold, you might get something that passes one or two tests, but it's very difficult for something to pass all of the tests if you do multiple tests, so... You know, I use the weight. It's probably the, the most basic, simple one. Just weighing coins with a precise scale. So mine does uh, three decimal points. And it goes up to 50 grams. I have a larger one, which does, I think, up to 200 grams, uh, which is two decimal points. So if I was, you know, weighing something a bit bigger or a couple of coins at once, you know, a small lot, I would use that one. So, like I say, the weight was the sort of first issue. Um, but I'd say most of the sort of fakes and counterfeits they can be spotted by eye on the whole, so 
the the things like that it comes with experience i suppose and it's not necessarily something obvious with every single coin you know there's going to be so many different fakes um, and they could be fakes and counterfeits for different reasons so it's a video i've you know done in the past i've covered it in various videos and bits and pieces but if you're curious to see that video then uh, keep an eye out that will uh, come up soon obviously half sovereigns are a great option if uh, the full sovereigns are a bit of a stretch and maybe even uh, the full sovereigns aren't a bit of a stretch but you like the halves you know you can buy more of them for example uh, still a good option i just find that the full sovereigns are much more common especially in decent condition so i don't see that many half sovereigns come up and down on the sort of second hand markets and they just seem a little bit less common overall you know you can you can get your best value ones from dealers um, a lot of the halves actually have lower mintages and if you are interested in date runs then the half sovereigns could prove quite tricky actually but uh, it is another option i think there's less coins available uh, for example the gillix and uh, machins there was only the one year of the halves there i think in bullion so it does cut down you know the amount you need to stack but uh, yeah i say pros and cons really so coming up like i say we've got some more shields we've got some more sovereigns and uh, i'll do a detailed video on that for you soon and uh, it'll be what i need to voice over and uh, hopefully i'll be able to get all the gold sovereigns together for a full stack video soon so we'll see and i uh, hope you enjoyed this one talk soon